If you want to start your business in Dubai, want to get professional license in Dubai, want to know company registration process and cost, this video is for you. Why free zone area is good for you to start business in UAE? First choice is to be made about the business area in UAE, either its mainland or free zone. This video is going to be very useful for all the business enthusiasts out there and all this information is only at the cost of liking the video and subscribing the channel. Let's start the video. First, decide the type of entity. In simple words, decide the nature of business. This factor greatly affects your choice about free zone in Dubai and the total cost for registering a company. The capital requirement for the business depends upon the selected free zone. For instance, no minimum capital is required to set up a business in 2454 free zone. But in Dubai airport free zone, you must have a minimum share capital of 150,000 dirhams. In free zone, you are given the option to choose between three to five business activities types from a list. This activity or nature of business can be like travel agency, marketing, e-commerce business, or a software house, etc. Selecting the right business activity is essential because the trade license will reflect the selected list of business activities. Business can only trade in the selected list of business activities included in the trade license. Next step is to choose a name for your company. Your company name must be unique and cannot be already registered in the UAE. You can check the availability of your company name through the official website of the free zone you have chosen. Next step is the legal structure. Decide on the legal structure for your company, such as it can either be a free zone establishment or a free zone company. The basic difference between these two is FZE requires only one shareholder and FZCO demands more than one shareholder. Previously, there was the rule of 51 to 49% ratio in partnership, whereas 51% used to belong to local Emirati partner. But now this rule is abolished and 100% ownership is given to expats. The next step is to prepare the necessary documents to initiate the registration process. The required documents may vary depending on the free zone, but generally you will be needed to provide these documents. Number one is passport copies of the shareholders and directors, proof of address of the shareholders and directors, a copy of the shareholders agreement, a copy of company's memorandum of association and articles of association. Approval of your company name and preparation of these documents will cost you. On average, company name approval will cost you around 650. Memorandum of association and articles of association will cost you around 300 for each. Company immigration card or establishment card would cost you around 650 dirhams. Labor card cost would be around 250 to 3450 dirhams depending upon the type of company. If you hire a PRO, their service fee generally range between 1000 to 5000 dirhams. Now let's talk about office space. Free zone authorities offer a flex desk office to support the startups. You can lease or buy office space in these free zones. Office requirements depend upon the kind of business activity that suits your company. For example, if the nature of your business is that it can be operated online, then there is no need to buy a physical office space. You can choose the option of virtual office that is also available in free zone area. Business license. Once your application is approved, obtain the necessary license for your chosen business activity. The cost of business license varies according to the nature of your business. This cost also fluctuates on daily basis. It's important to consult relevant agencies to help you in attaining business license as they can better guide you in saving your cost. Business license fee is generally between 5,000 to 20,000 depending upon business quota. Business quota is the number of visas that can be issued by your company or in simple words, you can say quota is the number of employees or partners in your company. Some people sell these quota later on as a freelance visa. It is also important to consider that in some free zones, license cost might be lower but office costs higher. In some free zones, visa costs are higher although other costs are lower. Some free zones offer helpful packages that include many of the elements like registration, license and office space bundled together at competitive rates and these packages can vary significantly from free zone to free zone. Some free zones also offer special rates for startups. So a thorough research of free zones is very important before initiating the process of company registration. Now let's talk about the documents that you received after registering the business with the free zone authorities. Memorandum of Association articles of association, co-working lease agreement, company formation certificate, share capital and business activity certificate. Now you are at the stage to apply for the UAE resident visa for the investors. 
apply for the UAE residence visa for the investors soon after the company documents are approved and trade license is available. The investors or businessmen who intend to invest a business in the UAE are eligible for a long-term residence visa. Visa cost on average is 3500 but it might vary depending upon the free zone. At this point, some other costs are to be paid. It is medical test costs which would cost around 870 emirates id cost that would cost you around 370 medical insurance fee that would cost you around 1000 all these costs are average costs and 10 to 20 percent increase or decrease as possible depending upon the free zone and the nature of business you have selected this is all for today's video if this was helpful please press the like button and subscribe for more such videos thank you for your time take care